Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony. I want to talk a little bit about the Feedback Hub in Windows 10 to help make Windows better. So with Windows 10, you have the uh, Feedback Hub, and this is a great um, tool to use, especially if you're having an issue with your computer or an issue with doing something, is to file some feedback, because I think this is a great way not only to maybe improve a um, workflow, but also to file a bug or an issue you are having. And so the simplest way to do that is just to click on the Start button and then type in Feedback Hub and then click enter or click on it. And then that'll pop up a screen and you'll be able then to search and file feedback or also upvote or file new feedback. So th this is a great little opportunity, I think for most users that are running into issues and have some extra time because I know sometimes you're crunched on time, you just can't file the feedback. I, me personally, I actually try to go back and refile the f uh, feedback for Microsoft. But um, if you have that extra time, I'd encourage you to go and file that feedback. If it's a reproducible sequence, add the reproducible steps or add the screenshot. Those are optional, right? They're not required. And um, just allows um, to provide more feedback so Microsoft can go off and fix these issues or improve um, workflows that they have there. And I think that's pretty crucial. I do recommend many people to file Feedback Hub or file stuff in the Feedback Hub to help make Windows 10 a more polished OS. And that's a great benefit that Microsoft has many different devices out there. But I think the Feedback Hub part of it is an underused um, item. I know I've been starting to file more and more feedback um, as well. I've, I've been doing feedback for quite a while now, especially with the Insider program. But this is not just an insider thing. This is actually for all users that can take the opportunity to help sh show where their pain points are, what they're having issues with. And Microsoft can actually go through and say, hey, okay, a lot of people are having this issue. Let's start working on it. Let's fix it. So there's an added benefit to there. And also, I've noticed that the engineers on Windows have been actually responding more to feedback. And they've been getting more and more feedback um, responses so that we like, like me I get to know more of what's actually going on and also one big thing about the feedback here is that you can upvote so if there's feedback already out there you don't really have to add anything new you can upvote it and that actually tells Microsoft hey there's somebody in this certain version of Windows that's now having this issue so it might not be an issue that's fixed so they have an opportunity then to relook at that and reevaluate what's actually going on there as well. And so as working as a software engineer, I know feedback is crucial, especially from users and stuff, because sometimes there's just things that you miss. And I, I encourage many people, like I've said, to file feedback, because I think it's important, not only for Microsoft, but for other people that go into the feedback hub to go, hey, there is an issue here. Let's t uh, I can upvote this and I'm not the only one that's having the issue. I know many people out there think that they're the only ones having the issue. I've dealt with those problems before. And a lot of times you do a little bit of searching and other people are having that same issue. And this would be a way that Microsoft can polish up those areas and make it so it's uh, f hopefully fewer times that's actually coming to having issues of uh, error issues in Windows 10. So another way to file feedback, that's a really quick way to do that, is pressing the Windows key and the F key and on your keyboard and this will then pop open the feedback hub it'll also take a screenshot as well so if you file new feedback that screenshot will just automatically be attached you can remove that um, as screenshots are optional to file feedback so those are just some things and i just wanted to just get this video out there because i think that um, if more and more people start filing feedback and if they have the time to it can start polishing and getting the areas that people are having issues with that you know, I, you can only file feedback so much, and I understand that because you, you get tired of filing feedback. I've done, I've been at that point where uh, you know you file three or four in a row, and you're just like, okay, I got to put it down and just re, you know, get away from the computer for a little bit because I, I like to file feedback, especially after I deal with um, clients or whatever that have those issues, and so um, I kind of go back through and file even more feedback. And I think this is a good way that other people can do that as well. Upvote on them 
and help make Windows a more polished product as well. So I do want to thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time to support Gray Overload. I really do appreciate all your support and helping grow this channel. It's uh, very humbling and I'm very appreciative of all the support that you guys give this channel. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Gray Overload. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe.